What's going on, everybody? Chef Bushy here with another episode of Culinary Misadventures. As you can see behind me, we had some pretty massive snow here in Chicago, so it's a perfect day to make soup. Let's get to it. It's soup day. Chinese five spice roasted cauliflower soup. Hearty, healthy, and delicious. We're breaking down our cauliflower first. We're going to pull off all the excess leaves, exposing the core so we can get in there with our knife and pull that out. Once we got the core out, we're going to break this down into uniform bite sized pieces as best we can so we can get a nice, even cook. Once they're on a lined sheet tray, we're going to top them with Chinese five spice, salt and pepper, and olive oil. We're going to put that into a 375 degree oven for 25 minutes. Remember guys, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the notifications. Now that our cauliflower is in the oven, it is time to chop some onions. Again, trying to get a uniform size so they cook evenly. We're going to put this into a little sauce pot or soup pot with oil on a low heat for about 15 minutes or until they're nice and translucent. Cauliflower is one of my favorite vegetables. Um, super hearty, really, really healthy, and absolutely delicious. At least I think so. So I was really excited to put this soup together for everybody. So we got all of our onions in the pan now. We're seasoning with salt and pepper because we season every layer. And we're going to saute these on low until they're nice and translucent and aromatic. Figure about 15 minutes or so. We do want to make sure that we control our temperature and the flames so that we do not brown these onions too much. We want them translucent. A little bit of color is okay, but we don't really want to overdo the onions because it's not supposed to be the predominant flavor. Once our onions are nice and cooked down, we'll add some minced garlic. That's about two cloves. I'll have all the uh, recipe information in the uh, descriptions below, so please uh, give that a check so you can make the soup for yourself. Also, uh, let me know what you think of this soup. Uh, if you make it, if you uh, have any questions about it, if you're going to give it a try. Love to hear from you out there and uh, any ideas of things you'd like to see me try to cook, uh, something regional from where you are here in the U.S. or anywhere around the world. I love playing with food, so give me some ideas. All right, onions and garlic are done. Cauliflower has come out of the oven, and now it's time for the veg stock. This soup is definitely vegetarian. Uh, it would be vegan, but we do mount butter at the end. So if you omit the butter, this can actually be 100% vegan as well. So we're going to stir in that stock. You can make the veggie stock at home. You can buy something off the shelf at the grocery store. Both work great. And uh, it's a quart of soup uh, or stock. So we're going to add that uh, in there. We're going to bring this up to a hard simmer and then add our cauliflower and let that go for about 20 minutes. Once it's done, we transfer to a blender. Don't fill the blender up too much. That's when explosions happen. So you're looking like less than a third of the blender. And you're going to puree for a solid... 30 40 seconds to really really get it broken down and then we'll pour that into a separate vessel and continue on until all of our soup is blended down you could also pull this off with a immersion blender if you have a stick blender but uh, I prefer using this a um, little bit uh, cleaner, if you would. Uh, less chance of splattering and all that good stuff. So, ooh, you see the deep fryer in the back? Yep, we have a deep fryer at home, and we will be making some cool stuff with that coming up shortly. 
anyway, back to the soup. We're finishing up the pureeing process uh, until everything is pureed down. And then we will transfer it back into the pot and put it back on the stove. All right, back on the stove. Look at that creamy deliciousness. And absolutely no cream. We add our butter. That's about two tablespoons. And this is on low heat. We're going to let this melt in, stirring occasionally, go for about another 10 to 15 minutes. And then the soup is going to be ready to eat. Stirring, stirring, stirring. Watching that delicious soup come together. The butter is going to add a nice sheen to it. Also a nice um, mouthfeel. Be a little more velvety if you would. Um, the five spice was my thing. I love it. It's one of my favorite flavors. Um, one of my mentors, Chef Paul Wildermuth, um, introduced me to that flavor when I was working for him. And I love it. So our garnish is just a little bit of fresh sliced green onion. So we get some nice slices in and we will just put that right on top of this delicious soup. Again, roasted cauliflower soup with Chinese five spice. You can add whatever you'd like. This is what I did. Hope you enjoy and see you next time on Culinary Misadventures.